Welcome to the Romania River channel and my playthrough of Dragon Age Inquisition. Well, oh, loading screens are loading screens, but yeah, there was something in between the loading screen and not Haven, Skyhold. So I had to redo the entire section with Gaspard. This time I got him killed, but I got Briala accepted, but sent into exile because apparently she was pardoned but exiled i don't know why that works but whatever that's about the only difference oh that and i played a wee bit more sentimental with josephine you know trying to get <sighs> you know it's still 13 a.m. though, so I'm not gonna be a wee bit, not gonna be that verbose. The matter is urgent, Lady Josephine. I am well aware of that, revered mother. We will need them to return to Valroyo as soon as possible. There are ceremonies, ordinations. Make us mercy. That's quite impossible at the moment. However, I will see to this matter as soon as possible. My Lord Inquisitor. The fuck? May I have a word with you? It's always something. Just when you've solved one crisis, another springs up to take its place. I am sorry to place this burden on your shoulders, but you are the only one who can help. With the political turmoil put to rest, our minds turn to a single question. The next divine. We cannot answer it without the left and right hands of divine Justinia V. I have already told you, revered mother. Lady Leliana and Sikar Cassandra cannot be spared from their duties. But surely, with the support of the Empire, the Inquisition will not be harmed by the loss of just two souls. Why do you need Liliana and Cassandra? They were Her Holiness's most trusted advisors. They represent her legacy, her hopes for peace in Thedas. They could rally the Grand Clerics to follow as no candidate from the clergy has been able to. Hmm? What in the hell? Okay, so... Where is that divided? Come on. Liliana and Cassandra are candidates to become the Divine? How is that possible? Not yet. But they could be. We need them to be. What the fuck? There is precedent. Other times when clerics remain deadlocked, a successor was chosen from outside the clergy. Lady Liliana and Seeker Cassandra were Justinia's most trusted friends and advisors. Our late divine is still held in high esteem. To honor her, the Grand Clerics might support one of them as successor. How long does the Chantry need them? Several months, at least. If one of them is crowned divine, she would not be returning to the Inquisition. Liliana and Cassandra would have to make that decision for themselves. And they certainly will, at a later date. The Inquisitor has only just returned and has important business to attend to. You must excuse us, revered mother. Cassandra is divine. Don't let them detract from your victory at Adam Shiral. The support of the Empire should make our search for the Grey Wardens easier. Varric is eager to help his friend Hawk. What do I want to say? Oh boy. Mask of Homo. Where is it? That's kind of shite. 
Well, there's no. This one's much better. More than arrived. Okay, what's now? This is a hall worthy of the Inquisition. Oh, God. They must be judged again. Yes. First, this wasn't my idea. It is an issue born of titles and heir apparency and... <sighs> Palam Shiral is having difficulty freeing trade routes formerly controlled by Duchess Florian. Had she been tried, her assets would be forfeit and considerable bureaucracy avoided. So they ask that we judge her. <laughs> this is supposed to make sense. I'm judging a box. That was the time allotted for rebuttal. Her crimes negated any claim to. <sighs> Forgive me, there is an order. <clears throat> I call for rehabilitation. The skull should do public theater about the evils of evil. I also judge the box. End table for orphans. That's quite enough, Inquisitor. Point taken. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Duchess in a Box. That's actually a historical reference to Emperor, Emperor in a bar, <laughs> Barrel. Um, what was it? Frederick Barbarossa, I think it was. He basically drowned more or less when he got to Holy Land, if I'm not mistaken, Egypt. And he had to be taken all the way to Jerusalem in a barrel. Yes, a. Um, Germanic, I don't believe Germany was unified, no, it wasn't unified back then, I can't remember exactly what it was, Bavarian or something like that. No Germans obscure me in the comments. Basically, he was one of those guys, and he joined the Crusades, went down there, did a lot of winning, and then fucking drowned at the fucking finishing line, more or less. How bracing to be in the thick of the game again. The last time I was at Alam Shiral was Countess Letien's wedding. There were a dozen affairs, five secret alliances, and a duel between two chevaliers over the vintage of an Antivan port. But until the Duchess was unmasked, I've never seen the Winter Palace in shock. You don't see the Empress of Orlais almost killed in cold blood every day. Not so brazenly, no. The game's become increasingly insular in the past few years. Corypheus skillfully took advantage. It's disturbing. So few people in the Orlesian court were aware of the Duchess's machinations. The Empress realized she was in danger. She's always in danger. Those loyal to her should have practiced more vigilance. But let's not lose sight of victory. Your actions at the ball have secured us allies and favors alike. My favorite moment of the evening is still our waltz in the garden. I could have danced with you for hours. We must do it again sometime. Hey. Let's go check. I'm supposed to go to Valroyo for something or another again. I also have to check in with Varek. Oh boy. The rare stocks. Hmm. 
I'm gonna go with this one. Here's an interesting thing, among the various things we found at K.R. Bronach that belongs to his former mercenary inhabitants was a journal. In it I found mention of several high placed clerks in the Imperial Counting House who are, shall we say, Madame Meprise is a fixture. The sun will grow cold before she retires. For their loose tongues. They sell what they know to mercenaries seeking to outbid others for work. But should we dispatch agents to speak with them? It would take very little pressure to have them work exclusively for us. The agents would need to remain to watch or our new friends, but I've been trying to place eyes on those posi on these positions for years, Liliana. With our with your permission I'll send okay. At your service. And for a Venatory agent, she and the elf are two, the two members of the berries who practice magic. She has an occasion purchased exotic dragon related ingredients from the Talvashov, although it is unclear whether the Talvashov gets them through hunting or smuggling. Go for it. Let's see what we have. Northern slaves and venatory hands. Settings of the north of Vlad Templars with armor and weapons adorned with Durvan runes. There are no known entrances to the deep roads in that area. No misses from Orzammar about missing traders, but they keep next to non existent records of surface doors. The venatory may be using may be making use of Dwarven slaves, possibly from the winter. Not their usual preference, but also not the first unusual thing they have done. Recommend further investigation. If there is scent of a Venatory Enclave, especially when supplying weapons, we need to crush it. Inquisitor. Oh boy. Alright. Should probably level up. Or level up. <laughs> Crit chaining sounds like a good thing. Master Solas asked that, did he? He said it was at your convenience, my lady. Oh, I'll see to it right away. His hunches are usually correct. Any news on the House of Repose, Inquisitor? Let's speak later. Another time. Okay, time to do that. Or at least attempt to. Ah. Let's just check with Nud Varek, and then I'll head off. Corivius is back. Oh shit! You said he was a darkspawn or a magister. What is he really? I'm not sure. I don't think Corypheus really knows either. He's definitely a darkspawn, but when we found him, it was pretty obvious he hadn't heard that. He thinks he's a magister, a priest of Dumat, in fact. He says he broke into the Golden City, like in the Chantry tale. Oh, 
Honestly, I'd rather fight an ancient darkspawn with a pet archdemon than deal with that hole in the sky. At least you can kill darkspawn. We didn't just think Corypheus was dead. He was dead. No pulse, no breath, full of stab wounds. There wasn't a lot of room for doubt. It makes me wonder. I thought the Wardens imprisoned Corypheus to use him. Maybe they did it because he can't be killed. How did you and Hawk even wind up in a Grey Warden prison for ancient Darkspawn? Corypheus sent people after Hawk. They were Carta at first, which is making me nervous. You think he's got another clan in his pocket we don't know about? Uh, we tracked the Carta to an old dwarven fort or something in the mountains. Of course, it turned out to be a trap. They needed Hawk's blood to open the locks holding Corypheus, and they drew us into the prison to get it. Let's hope Corypheus just turns out to be really good at playing dead. That makes two of us. Maker's breath, what have I let loose? You had nothing to do with this, Varric. I was the one who led Hawk to Corypheus. If I hadn't tracked the Carta to that ruin... But you've got more important things to do than listen to me worry. Just let me know when you want something shot. Oh, you're always behind me. There's pussy about. One shit. What in the fuck? Oh, oh, bells, it's you. <clears throat> Morris. Sir Morris, I suppose. I am serving as quartermaster for Skyhold and its arriving throngs. Stores are growing, and so long as we have fair coin to restock, you and yours will be well served. <clears throat> the previous quartermaster survived Haven. Where is she? She... had views. Has views. Perfectly legitimate ones if you share them, Inquisitor. I believe it was felt that your quartermaster should be more palatable, now that the Inquisition is in Orlais. She continues to serve, just not at the fore. <laughs> there are problems coming out of Halam Shiral? There are always problems from Halam Shiral. We've lost a few contracts, but more than made up for it. Although, if a few commendations were given, it might retie some severed threads. I couldn't suggest how. That is better decided at your war table, and I'm not going near that thing. What makes you ideal for this position? It's an important one. My family has ties to several freehold militias, as well as cousins acting as officers in Ferelden and Orlais. <laughs> and your qualifications? My family holds treaties with three new money to Vinter houses and a rare Orzima contract with a Paragon namesake. And your qualifications? To be honest, Your Worship, that was my question. I am the nexus of a dozen threads tied by others, designed to cast the widest and most appealing resource net. But I will rise to the occasion. Skyhold will want for nothing. I swear it. <clears throat> How's it going? Do we have what we need? With Skyhold shining like a beacon? You name it, it's here or on the way. I've wrung out the slackers, given them what for. I think... I think I like this job. As you were. We are here for you, Inquisitor. Hmm. Nothing? Unfortunate. Letter home. Father, you will not come home. I know what happened to Haven. I was there. And I'm not afraid of death. If anyone... If none of us are brave enough to stand, then all of us will fall. I'm your son. If you trust nothing else, trust me. The position is our only hope. I also would like to request that you stop using such language to refer to the Inquisitor. It's not what you think. He's not trying to replace the vine or the chantry or become a god. I know it's a little odd for us to be in, along a, uh, following a dwarf. 
I knew them only as merchants and traders growing up, and I will admit that I thought it was a joke when they told me that the Herald was dwarven kind. But I'm ashamed I ever thought that way. The Inquisitor is aspiring and speaks for all of us, no matter what he looks like. I just hope you'll be able to see that this is what I want and what I feel is my duty. I think Mother will be proud, and I know she would want you to be proud of me too. Your son and dedicated Inquisition soldier, Eustace. Hmm. Wait, what's that? No. Seeing things. Pamphlet, lift your voices. Oh, fuck me. Inquisition. Really? The Sin Inquisition. Okay. Then. Will you not consider it, Lady Cassandra? The clerics are still sequestered. If no one steps forward. They will debate until... And you think I could make them agree? I've had enough for one day, Mother Giselle. Talk to her, your worship. Fun never ends in Skyhold, does it? Are old dwarves such comedians? Or just you and Varric? I assume you've heard that Leliana and I are both candidates to be the next divine. Because of what happened at Halam Shiral, of course, the Empire favors you. Thus, everyone close to you. So now the Chantry bandies our names about without even asking us first. How can you and Liliana be candidates? You're not even priests. It's not without precedent. Amara III was sister to the Emperor, and Galatea a commoner. Liliana and I were, at least, part of the Chantry hierarchy. It would be accepted. <laughs> if they'll pick non-priests, why am I not a candidate? Because you're a man, first and foremost. If they name you a candidate, they may as well join the Tevinta Imperium. Truly, though, I imagine it's because they're frightened of you. A weight such as yours would break the Sunburst throne and tear the Chantry to pieces. I just don't know why they believe Liliana or I would be any better. I think you'd make an excellent divine. <laughs> Truly, I never look good in hats. Surely, it was never meant to be like this. The Chantry, the Circle of Magi, the Templars... This cannot be what they intended when it all began. The Chantry should provide faith, hope. Instead, it cannot veer from its course, even in the face of certain death. I'm surprised to hear you, of all people, say that. Oh? Am I not the same woman who declared the Inquisition against the Chantry's wishes? In all my years as a Seeker, I did what I was told. My faith demanded it. But now my faith demands something else. That I see with better eyes. If you're concerned, then make it better. Did you know Varric is Andrastian? Oh, he blasphemes with every second breath, but deep down he believes. His heart is virtuous. But he would never step foot in a Chantry. It should be the first place to which the virtuous turn. It needs to change. Perhaps I must be the one to change it. Your determination is admirable. Some men would call it an unattractive trait. I'm not those men. So this is your new crusade? I've agreed to nothing yet. And if the Chantry calls on you? 
Then I will do whatever I can, for as long as I can. I suppose I should not be so concerned. The clerics speak my name for now, nothing more. For now, restoring order and stopping Corypheus remain our priority. Hmm. Yeah, it should probably be a less bigger pain in the ass than God knows how many others. Uh, but it. <laughs> but it's 26 minutes, so I'm going to have to leave it off here now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching, or more precisely surviving up until this point, because guys know the editing's kind of interesting and my voice has a melodic tone to it. If you like what you saw, feel free to hit the subscribe button, like button, it does help out the statistics of the channel, gets more visible, you know, stuff like that. And to be honest, at one point I would like to actually make this a job so I can do better content with better quality, more games, more coverage, you know, stuff like that. Take care.